Hi, it's World War II Metal Detection Channel and today we are showing you new incredible Second World War finds. So if you are ready, hit the thumbs up button and let's go! A Black Digger Stash Millions of World War II military artifacts are waiting in the ground to be found. Thousands of diggers go out looking for the trophies every day. Someone keeps his finds for his own collection, while the others make money restoring and selling their finds. In 2018, Russian policemen detained a Sochi resident for illegal World War II arms trade. He also bought modern blank firing guns and converted them into the firearms. During a search of his house, a whole warehouse of various weapons and ammunition was discovered. There were hundreds of cartridges of various calibers, even four anti-tank rifles, grenades, gunpowder, as well as blueprints, spare parts and equipment for converting and repairing firearms. The Arsenal Sona is looking for a serious jail time. MG42. And here is an interesting find made by one of the diggers in the woods. As you may have already guessed, this is a German MG42 machine gun. It was released in Germany in 1942 and replaced the earlier MG34 gun. For its enormous rate of fire, it got several nicknames among the Soviet soldiers, including Bone Cutter and Hitler's Circular Saw. MG-42 couldn't replace its predecessor completely, and both of these models were used by German soldiers till the end of the war. Finding such a machine gun in good condition is every searcher's fantasy. You can simply brag to your friends when they come to your place, or you can remake it for firing blank cartridges and sell to World War II reenactors for a large sum. But this guy did it differently. He took it to the police. After the examination, the machine gun took its place in the local museum exposition. A case of grenades A few years ago, a digger was lucky to find a box full of grenades in excellent condition near St. Petersburg. The find was in grey clay and oxygen couldn't damage the case. Even the experienced diggers were surprised to see the contents when the box was opened. The grenades looked new, each wrapped in oil-soaked paper. Even the paper, indicating date and the packer's name was preserved. This case was packed in 1938 in Kharkov by a woman named Gavrilova. The explosives were removed and the grenades' dummies took their places in numerous collections. Weapons and drugs stash in St. Petersburg, a police officer discovered an arsenal of firearms and ammunition as well as World War II military awards. A 34-year local resident was detained and a plastic bag with cocaine was found during physical body search. The police decided to conduct a search at the suspected apartment. As a result of the search, a whole arsenal was seized, including three cartridges marked Luger 9mm, three cartridges 9x19, as well as 138 cartridges of various calibers, three revolvers, five pistols, a rocket launcher, five bolts, two submachine guns, a rifle, and two tablets with orders and medals of the Soviet Army, a total of 27 pieces. 88mm flag Russian workers discovered a German 88mm anti-aircraft gun while laying a gas pipe in Belgorod region. This gun was in service from 1932 to 1945, being one of the best anti-aircraft guns of the Second World War. It also served as a model for the Tiger tank guns and Ferdinand assault guns. These guns were widely used as anti-tank and even field guns, as they had good efficiency, rate of fire and accuracy. 
Flag 88 proved to be good in the fight against heavy Soviet KV tanks. This gun is often called the most famous weapon of the Second World War. While examining the area, police officers found an unexploded shell, the same as the one that destroyed the German gun. Apparently, the German anti-aircraft gun fired at the Soviet positions, since the area where it was found provides an excellent view of a large area. But it also made it an excellent target for the Soviet artillery. After the barrel was examined by the D-miners, it was extracted and sent for the restoration. We really hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please do hit the like button, leave the comment and let us know what you think. And subscribe to the channel not to miss new videos. If you'd like to support the channel, see the details in the description below.